Welcome to DARE Education Awareness, where you can find the latest news on all DARE County schools, the Coastal Studies Institute, and the College of the Albemarle. We keep you informed, entertained, and up to date on education in DARE County. My name's Liam Jean Van Druten. I go to Cape Hatters, but I do the summer program here at Manio Elementary. It's nice to hang out with my friends during the program. If it wasn't for the summer program, I'd probably be bored. Campus from 7.30 to 6. The importance of this program is, first of all, safety. Children get to have fun. They get to do different things, art themes, art weekly themes and the kids that are interested in certain weekly things, like if they're interested in engineering, they sign up for engineering. Do you know what STEAM is? Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. We take field trips to Coastal Study Institutes and the Wright Brothers. I like going to the Coastal Studies Institute because so I learned a lot. Yeah! They never want to leave. They want to stay all day. They, they're ready to come in the morning and they're never ready to leave in the afternoon. <laughs> During the day, we feed them a hot breakfast. They have a morning snack, they have a hot lunch, and then an afternoon snack. We have a camp here at Manio. We have one at First Flight, and then we have one at Cape Hatteras. We all have the themes that we, we work on every week. Theme offers the kids an ability to learn a lot of different things. One of my favorite things is art. We're going to the library and there's someone from Wanda's Monster here. Most of the kids that we have are here from kindergarten and on up to fifth grade. Fifth grade they get a little sad because they can't come back in sixth grade, but they love it. All the kids love it. To hear the children's laughter, watching them learn, that their eyes light up, it's the best part about it. My name is Lindsay Doves. I am the Associate Director of the North Carolina Renewable Ocean Energy Program, for which I also do environmental assessment research. The focus of my research is assessing the environmental impacts of Gulf Stream-based energy. However, we don't know very much about the ecology of this area, so we don't know much about what the environmental impacts will be because we don't know which organisms are using what parts of the Gulf Stream, when, and for what reasons. So a lot of our research to date has focused on kind of characterizing that environment. We have done work on sea turtles, marine mammals, and also sargassum. Sargassum is a pelagic macroalgae, so it is not phytoplankton, it is a larger type of primary producer, and it is found in most of the world's oceans. This pelagic macroalgae floats at the surface of the Gulf Stream and it kind of gets entrained along the western wall and accumulates there where it's really important habitat for marine organisms and it's actually protected habitat because of how it supports fish. And we are finding that sargassum is also very important for nutrient cycling and just primary production within the Gulf Stream serving as the base of that food web. Sargassum is important because it's an extremely unique marine structure. Because it spends its entire life floating out in the open ocean, it provides structure in an environment that's otherwise devoid of that kind of complexity. Structure provides habitat for anything from planktonic organisms all the way up to your charismatic megafauna, like whales and cetaceans, migratory fish. 
My research deals with the very fundamentals of the Gulf Stream environment because we're looking at the nutrient cycling capabilities and specifically nitrogen, which is the limiting nutrient in that environment. Any process that delivers biologically available nitrogen to that environment is theoretically going to increase primary productivity, which will cascade up the food chain. My research fits into the North Carolina Renewable Ocean Energy Program because our mission is to find marine hydrokinetic energy off the coast of North Carolina that can help meet the energy demands of our state in a sustainable manner. And so that means that if we are to harvest energy from um, marine hydrokinetic or wave or current resources off of the North Carolina coast, we have to do so with the other uses of that environment in mind, including uses by other animals and organisms as well as humans. My name is Dorothy Patton. This is my home and I love it here. And I have a nice roommate, her name is Caroline Parks. The College of the Albemarle's PACE program on the Dare County campus offers a sense of independence, a sense of purpose. I went to college, learned my skills, and the teacher taught me how to learn, cook, clean, sew, keep my house clean, do my laundry. I'm very proud of myself because I like to be out my own. It offers a sense of pride, a sense of community. The original PACE program was to give them the experience, even if they weren't going to complete a official degree, it gave them the experience of going to college and being around other college-aged peers. The PACE program offers community members with intellectual developmental disabilities the opportunity for an education that will lead them on a pathway towards independence, empowerment, and success. Now the PACE program is actually offering a new program, this hospitality program, that they're going to learn a specific skill and get a specific certificate that will get them a job out in that hospitality world. It's been nice to watch them grow and learn and get that confidence to be able to be out in the community and do things in other areas that they weren't otherwise able to do. We have two of those graduates that actually come five days a week to the Dare County Center. They vacuum, they dust, they clean the library, but mostly they get to socialize with a lot of the other folks that are in here day to day. Dottie, for example, learned a lot of things in the kitchen. She helps in the kitchen. She tempts food and she helps set up the plates and we feed folks every day. And so she's a big part of that nutrition program. They also go out in the community and deliver those meals to our um, homebound clients. They love being helpful. They love, you know, learning new things and seeing how they can take that, that something that they learned and utilize it into their community. I'm going back to college because I like to get my degree, and I'm doing like hospitality and restaurant. And after that, I'm going to learn how to read computers, take more classes, and do a lot of things. What they learned in the first three years that they went to college, I think that they'll bring that to the next step of this and be able to learn some things that will actually help them gain employment and um, be able to be out on their own. Like Dottie and Caroline are able to be out on their own, but they really need to have some jobs in the future to help sustain that. I like go back to school.
Through the original PACE program, Dottie was able to secure a position at a local real estate company. She learned some skills on how to build bags for the cleaners. I think she's going to be able to take the skills that she learned there and move them into this next, this next program is going to give her more skills where it just won't be just related to cleaning. They're going to learn some things about restaurants, they're going to do some internships, and I'm looking forward to watching them work with people in the community and local businesses to see how they can shine. For more information on the PACE program, visit albemarle.edu.